This is so cute. Oh my God. The world is a vast, weird, wonderful place. It can be hard to imagine what it's like to live in a different city all the way across the globe. So we're going to pair two strangers from two different countries and have them send a care package to each other, full of their favorite beauty, style, and self-care items. This time, we've paired Amal in Los Angeles and Sohan in Sydney. Hi, my name's Amal and I live in Los Angeles, California. I'm 28 years old. I work at BuzzFeed as a freelance producer. I'm super into fashion and makeup. I love skincare. It's something that I've gotten into as I've been getting older. Ever since I really moved to LA, it's super cool because literally in a place like Los Angeles, you can walk out your door and just be inspired by all the cool trends. I love living here. Hey guys, I'm Sohan. I'm 26 years old and I live in Sydney, Australia. I am a video producer for BuzzFeed Oz. In my spare time, I also direct some fashion style beauty editorials. I also have a cat, Kepler, who is my son. really into fashion, makeup, skincare. I wouldn't say I'm an expert at it or anything, but I definitely use makeup and fashion as a way to express myself every day and also when I'm going out. I have to say that I'm actually really nervous for this mystery box swap. I really want them to like it. I am so excited to receive this box. I can't wait to see what Amal picks out for me. I'm excited to have some new things to play around with this week. It's gonna be really fun. Hopefully this box challenge will give me the confidence confidence I need to be a better gift giver and I'm really excited to also make a friend potentially. Each box can be decorated in any way the sender likes, but they should contain one cosmetic item, one self-care item, one fashion item, one snack, and two items to be opened later at a specific time. Going for a bit of a shop. We're in the mall, finding some things, you know, we're looking. I have an idea of what I want to get Amal, but like I've got Isha here to help me out because I always need a second opinion and the approval of my friends. <laughs> Two heads are better than one. Exactly. The things that I want are easily accessible, I think, and really define what it means to be in LA. Oh, that's so fun. That's also very summery. Oh, wow. I think she'll really like that. Yeah. It's like so dramatic. Are you describing everything? It's Australian and all natural. No pictures, please. And now we're gonna go and shop for snacks for a mall. Get so. something Australian. This is my favorite. This is like iconically Australian. It's the correct way to eat fries. I think it's like the Australian way, really. Yes. We have one more location to go, but I think that we'll be able to find the last things we need there. So I got something fun in the mail today. Oh, okay. Yay! This is some hefty tape. Does America have like really strong tape? Am I doing this right? Oh my God, it's very heavily protected. <gasps> it's gold. <gasps> that took a while. If this was a highlight color, I would wear it. Is this a velvet card? Apologies for the lackluster wrapping job. What do you mean? This is amazing. Some represent me, some represent Australia, and some I chose thinking of you in mind. Inside, I hope you find items that bring you a little joy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is such a cute card and everything's so nice and colorful already. Fashion, okay. Oh my gosh. It's like a belt bag. Something that I personally have been wanting to get into is the side fanny pack bag. It's a really bold red. It's something that I've seen a lot of people wearing. This is so nice. I love the color. It fully goes with what I'm wearing as well. Mm, expertly wrapped. They are sunglasses. These are so cute. They're like the skinny, cool, bad bunny kind. I'm not sure if tiny sunglasses has been a trend in the US, but it's been a massive trend here in Australia and I love wearing tiny sunglasses. They're not too dark, so you can wear them indoors and outdoors. Oh my God, very cute. I own similar glasses to this, but these are definitely the cooler version of the ones I have. Self-care. 
Galaxy Diamond Glitter Violet Mask. As if this isn't 100% me, does Amal know who I am? I am obsessed with everything to do with space. It's a glitter mask. If she's having kind of a slow day, she can put it on and it looks like the freaking galaxy. Purifying and firming, Diamond Amethyst Super Berry Complex for all skin types. Oh my God, I'm gonna use this tonight. <gasps> Coffee and Coconut Exfoliating Mask. Wow, this is amazing. I got Amal a Coffee and Coconut Exfoliating Mask. I love that it's natural. It exfoliates your face, so that's a bit of Australian self-care. I love a good exfoliant, and it's coffee, which literally might be my favorite thing in the entire world. Next, we have the cosmetic item. Oh, is this a lipstick? Glitter Topper Liquid Glitter Gel. After you put your eyeshadow on and you want to kind of look a little bit, you know, extra, this is basically just a glitter highlight for your eyes. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love this. It's all like galaxy sparkle themed. I'm so into it. Okay. Already a brand that I'm not familiar with. It's Mecca Mix. Mecca Max. I can read. The cosmetic item that I got for Amal is this liquid highlighter in a color which is called Rose Quartz. I've got one myself and I find that it has a really beautiful shimmery effect on my skin color. I thought Amal would like this and you can kind of see the color. It's like a beautiful pinky gold. Very excited about this. I love a good highlight. The snack takes up prime real estate. I'm an international gal, and I appreciate international snacks. Oh, it's Vegemite. I spent a year living in London, and I've successfully avoided Vegemite, but I don't think I can avoid it any longer because it's in this snack right now. This is one of my favorite things I got. Shapes are an iconic snack in Australia. They come in lots of different flavors like barbecue, pizza, but this is a new flavor. It's Vegemite and cheese. These are so delicious. They just smell like Cheez-Its. They truly do taste like a mix between Cheez-Its and goldfish. That's my snack analysis for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Cheetos. What is this, flaming Hot Limon, like lemon? I wanted to get her something that really shouted LA when you first opened it. And what else other than hot Cheetos? I've been basically having this forever and it's still my guilty pleasure whenever I'm having a slow day. I actually am really bad at handling spicy food, but lately I've been kind of trying to increase my tolerance. Maybe I'll open this later and have a try. Yummy. We've come to the end and these are the two open laters. Open next time you're doing your makeup to go or for a shoot. Open next time you order fries. <gasps> what could it mean? Open when you need to pamper yourself. Okay, so I feel like this might be another self care vibe. Open when you need to get something off your mind. They're perfect for like going out, which I do every weekend. I feel like the time for me to open these will be very, very soon, so. Okay, so I just tried on the liquid light and mixed it into my foundation and I'm standing right against the window so you can see this. Look at this glow. It's very dewy, but very natural. I love it. Okay, so it's 3 p.m., which means snack time. And I have these to try. Oh my God, yum. I don't normally do well with spice, but this is really good. Oh, I can see me going through this packet very easily and very quickly. I just shared the Vegemite chips with Troy. It's like goldfish and friggin' mm. cheese it or something like that. That's what I said. They're really good though. That's good awesome. job, Australia. Do you want to try Cheetos? Oh my God, okay. Hell yeah, Yeah. That's good. The color of that doesn't look natural. Yeah, that's really addictive. <laughs> hey, they're mine. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm hanging out with some friends today and I think it's time for me to open the next gift. Okay. <gasps> this is so pretty. I'm gonna be incorporating this into my look today. Super excited. I got Amal a super colorful eyeshadow palette. It's very pastel, which I'm really into right now is pastel colors. You can kind of see on the back. It shows like examples of colors. And I thought, 
why not get something for Amal that next time she's going out and she wants to try something new with her face, she can do some colorful eyeshadows. I went for like the brighter blue. I'm also not like an eyeshadow expert, so I'm still kind of playing around with everything. I think I really like it. Okay, headed out, but I cannot forget my new glasses. So I've just come home from a really long day at work. I thought this was the perfect thing to open right now. Okay, so it's a book. It's got beautiful art on the front. Paper goods, 160 page journal, oh my God. For this one, I wanted to give her something that helped her when she's maybe feeling in a creative rut or she just needs to get something off her mind. And what better way to do that than to write it down in a very cute journal. Yeah, I hope she uses this when she wants to get a little creative, but also when she needs a little comfort when you know things get a little hectic. I have been wanting to consciously be more mindful and just focus on appreciating everything that I do have in my life. I think this is a great thing that I can use to just every day jot down some things that I'm grateful for and remember them. It's time for me to open this gift. Okay, this is what was inside. Another iconic Australian thing is having chicken salt on your fries. Whenever they ask, oh, do you want salt or chicken salt on your chips? It's always chicken salt. I finally got a chance to try the chicken salt. It tastes pretty good. I was really skeptical because I thought it'd be like a fun sauce or like, you know, ketchup with like a fun ingredient. It's interesting to see what other people eat with their fries. So yeah. Self-care Sunday. This is the day of the week where I decide to pamper myself for sure. So let's open this up. Oh my gosh. I have literally never heard of a lip sleeping mask. A lot of people have been talking about this product. I've used it and I actually really like it. When you go to sleep, you wake up with really soft lips. You can conquer the world. It smells like strawberry. This is thicker than any lip balm I've ever used and I can just tell that overnight it's gonna stick to my lips and keep them so nice and moisturized. In Australia, it's actually winter right now, so it's freezing and my skin gets really dry. So this is gonna be 100% part of my new like skincare routine. So I'm having kind of a chill day today, so I think I'm gonna try this mask. It smells amazing. It smells exactly like coffee and it's making me really crave coffee. Excited for that smooth Australian skin. This is the most like bougie, sparkly face mask I've ever used. Sparkles. Oh, hey, it's me. Just a galaxy face and uh, my friend, the moon. I had so much fun shopping for the gifts. I also had a lot of fun trying out the products that I received. I really enjoyed this whole experience. It kind of reminded me of like when I was 10 years old and had a pen pal uh, across the world and we would send letters to each other and get to know each other. So it was kind of like a nice nostalgic feel in a way. I don't know, I mean, I feel like a lot of times we stick with the same types of things that we get and it's really cool to be able to be given a chance to try something that I would normally, especially something from a different country. I wanna do it again with more people in all parts of the world. It was such a good experience.